Hi everybody, welcome to Beauty by Nisi. It's another beautiful day and I hope you're having a lovely day. Today's video is a review on the new Anastasia Norvina palette. I use this palette to achieve this look and I would advise that you guys stay tuned, watch the entire video because you will be surprised at some kind of things that I found out um, when I was applying this um, palette. Um, if this is your first time, uh, welcome to the family. I would love it if you would hit the subscribe button. Subscribe, join the family. We have um, been having a good time for a month now since I started this channel and I would love for you to join us. I would love it if you would hit the um, notification bell and get all my videos every time that I post so you don't miss any of them. And I would also love it if you leave a comment. Let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know um, how you're loving my videos. And also don't forget to follow me on um, Instagram at Beauty by Vinesi. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and follow me on um, Snapchat. I'm gonna leave all my social media links in the description box. So if you guys wanna see how I achieve this look and what my thoughts are about this palette, if you should get it or not, is it good for all skin tones or not? I need you to stay tuned and watch this video to the end. All right, guys, I will see you in my next video. So going in the first shade, Eccentric, I'm gonna use that as my crease color. actually goes on warm on my skin tone more than it is in the pan and it blends well it, it's not patchy it is seamless when you blend it to darken the crease I'm gonna go in with passion which is this last shade I'm using the same brush and this is the Anastasia brush. And I just want to mention this, this is something that I've noticed as I'm using the palette and this is not new to me because when I used it the other time on the person that I used it on, I saw the same thing. There's a lot of kick off when um, you put your brush in that it is um, kind of messy and even with this uh, shimmer shade, I noticed that anytime you put your brush in, I mean, it, it, it just starts to run around. And, it just starts to fall out so that's something that you want to um, keep in mind if you're spending $42 to get this palette and then I'm gonna switch brushes I'm gonna go in with a flat brush from um, I can't remember the name of this company I don't remember where I got this brush from but this is just a regular flat brush and then I'm gonna wet it And for my crease color, I'm going to go in Celestial. It is this beautiful um, purple color. I'm going to go in that color. Alright guys, so I'm getting a lot of fallout on my um, face. You, can, you probably cannot see it, but I can feel it falling out. Um, which is expected because if you're getting a lot of kick up in the uh, palette, you're definitely going to get a fallout on, the, uh, on your face. 
face and you know that every time that I apply I'm always like tapping my brush to make sure that I don't get any fallout but I'm still getting it and it really doesn't bother me like fallouts don't bother me that much but that is just something that you need to keep in mind if you're spending $42 like out um I'm not really getting the pigment and the payoff from this color uh, I'm not sure if it is a brush that I'm using or um let me try my finger and see it will it will work better Guys, I'm really going, I mean, $42, I think once you put your brush or your finger in there, you should get enough to cover the entire lid. But I have only, and this is the color payoff that I'm getting. And then I'm going to go in with the shade Drama. I'm going to go in with Drama in the outer corners of my eye. I'm going to try with the brush again to see how this applies. I'm gonna flip my brush going into this color. Guys, I'm not even getting anything at all. It's like, it's like pulling teeth. Honestly, I don't like the way this, um, I don't like the way this color is applying. I don't like the way it's going on my eye. It applies very muddy, like, it's not seamless. I don't know, let me just use my finger to see. And I know you guys have seen a lot of beautiful uh, colors and eye looks that people have done on um, Instagram. And sometimes you have to be careful when you see all these ads because most of these are um, photoshopped and there's a lot of filtered um, eye looks. And as you already know, I am filming with my iPhone and I'm using daylight, so everything you're seeing is what you actually get. Okay, I don't like this. I don't. Let's try to blend it. I mean, I was very disappointed. For $42, it should um, 
do a lot better than what I'm seeing right now. But um, I'm gonna go and finish up this eye and then I'll be right back. Hi guys, so I finished off uh, my other eye and um, surprisingly I found some very interesting um, things when applying the second um, eye. I noticed that the mats also had kick up. I mean, applying it, as soon as you put your brush in it, I mean it keeps falling all over. And then the way it even went on when I went back to use it to blend out everything was even worse. I mean, if you can tell, you can see all this glitter on my under eye. So imagine if you had your face done before this, you would have to like go wash your face or clean your entire face before you can um, apply, you can finish up your makeup. Um, so I got some really interesting thoughts about this um, palette. Um, uh, this is not my first Anastasia palette. I have the um, I have another palette. I'll leave the name. This is not my first one, and the other one I really liked it. I really don't know about this one. I'm gonna go off camera, finish up my face, and I will come back with my final final thoughts about this palette. Hi guys. So I went off camera to get my face complete. I put on foundation, I put on lashes, and I fixed my hair. So um, my final thoughts about this Anastasia Novena palette, I think um, when they were putting this palette together, I know there was a lot of thoughts put into this palette and um, if you look at Novena, this palette actually mimics where all the purples in there and the shimmer in there mimics um, her nature and how she is. Um, it could be good for some people, but as a woman of color, I personally think that I did not like the way this palette performed. Um, that could not be true for somebody else, but this is just my personal opinion. I bought this palette with my own money. It wasn't sent to me. It was $42 off of Sephora's website. So you know that I am going to give my honest opinion. When it comes to the packaging, it is pretty. It is the regular Anastasia uh, packaging. It comes with this beautiful velvet um, uh, case cover whatever you call it but the only downside to this is it easily gets dirty um, the moment you touch it I mean if you can see mine is already dirty and I've only had it for a week um, it gets dirty the brush is very good I use the brush um, to do my entire eye I actually used the I didn't use the flat part I just used the fluffy part and it did perform I really love the brushes that this come with but when uh, it comes to the performance, again, um, there was too much kick up, um, especially with the shimmers. And even with the mats, like I said earlier, the mats had a lot of kickback too. Um, I could use probably these one, two, three, four. I could use those shades. I could work with those. But these, I am not sure. This one, I'm pretty sure it's gonna look really um, gray or ashy on me. But this could also be good for people who are uh, much lighter um, than myself. It could work for them. And the shimmers, um, I'm not thrilled. I am not happy. I, I love my Modern Renaissance palette, but this one, I am not too happy with it. Um, especially with the kickback. So um, I would not say do not buy this palette, but this is my honest opinion. If you would still go ahead and spend $42 on this palette, that is really um, up to you and it's really your choice. But um, this is just my thoughts about this Anastasia palette. I, like I said, there are so many beautiful pictures out there. But um, what I saw in reality and when I was applying it, I did not feel like it really gave that seamless and smooth application. I put on a really good base and this is the base that I use with all my um, eye looks. And um, I did the same with this one. I set my base, I made sure that everything was looking good. Um, I didn't like the color payoff, especially with the purple. The um, the celestial I wanted it to be I thought it would be so vibrant because I see all these tutorials and it's so vibrant but I didn't see that I it was I just didn't see that um, so these are my thoughts you could still get it if you want but um, this is just my thoughts on this Anastasia palette 
so guys thank you so much for watching this tutorial and watching this um, first not so first impressions with me um, I have some amazing videos coming up so I want you guys to stay tuned and I want you to keep watching I will have a video right now I want to get on a schedule so I am planning on um, posting at least two videos every week so um, if you like this video I need you to give me a thumbs up I need you to hit the notification bell and I need you to got you guys to leave comments let me know what your thoughts are do you like it do you did you not like the way I, I um, applied this and um, do you have any suggestions for me so I need you guys I need really need to know your thoughts so leave a comment in the um, comment section below and I promise I'll respond to every single comment um, I would I guess this is the end of the video so I will see you guys in my next video take care